I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comics and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at infamous Iron Man issue number 10 with Doctor Doom reunited with his mother. Will this be everything he hoped for, or will it spell his doom? Let's hop on in together and find out. Alrighty then, so as we join the comic, we're treated to a flashback of Victor Von Doom as a young boy, him and his mother still living on the run, more or less. Even at a young age, Victor had a very scientific scientific mind, and his mother hoped that she could use that to induct him into the world of sorcery. Unfortunately for poor Victor, his mother didn't start him off with abracadabra, oh no no, she jumped him right ahead to advance blood sacrifices. And when the young boy couldn't kill a cute fuzzy little bunny, mom was none too impressed and called him a coward. Jeez, that's a lot of parental resentment right there, jeez, I mean, it's not like he got a job talking about comics on the internet or something, cool it lady. When Victor comes to, he's very shirtless and in a place he doesn't recognize, a place between places, as his mother tells him. Rightfully so, after everything that's gone down, Iron Doom has every reason to be freaked out, but his mother goes out of her way to try and calm him down. Hey, you don't need your armor, you don't need to fight, you're safe here, I promise. Where exactly is here? Well, the answer to that is pretty damn fascinating. Mama Doom says that this place is the Tear, a place that once housed the multiverse, but now that the multiverse is gone, it's been replaced with, well, well, whatever the tear is. Doom asks the most obvious question, and that is, hey mom, if you've been alive all this time, why have you waited so long to reveal yourself to me? I mean, it's not like I obsess over your death all the time or something. As Cynthia puts it, she wanted to reveal herself to her son for a long time, but never did because she despised the monster of a man he had become as Dr. Doom. And now that she's back in her son's life, she wants to use her skill to teach him something he never knew before, the art of energy transference. Now back on Earth, Ben Grimm the Thing had been dispatched to find Doctor Doom again after he crashed that shield helicarrier. Once in Lodveria, Ben comes across a little girl attempting to loot the palace. She throws the Thing for a major loop saying that she misses Lord Doom, that things were better under him, that they weren't scratching out just to try and survive. And the surprises don't stop there either, as the Thing goes deeper and deeper into Castle Doom, he finds an old portrait of him and Reed Richards all together at college. And Victor Von Doom never exactly seemed like the sentimental type, but the fact that he kept this picture and framed it no less would seek to say that maybe he has a heart after all. Now back at the estranged mother-son magical homeschooling program, things start to take a turn. Doom manages to learn a little something about energy transference, but then sets up this woman claiming to be his mother by talking about all the time they spent in the old country sacrificing frogs. And when she flunks this trick question by agreeing, it's at that point that extra Extra Reed Richards, who is clearly the maker, shows up and chastises Cynthia for bringing Doom to the tear. Doom gets expelled from this dimension in between dimensions, and again, in a very uncharacteristic and very surprising turn, Doom goes out of his way to tell Ben that if he values his life, he'll run right now and not look back. So that was Infamous Iron Man number 10, and overall, I feel this story continues to develop in a really interesting, really meaningful way. It's an issue that mainly comprises of Doctor Doom talking to a woman who he believes to be his mother, and yet because of that we managed to get a much deeper look into his character and what he plans for the future as Iron Man. How that now that he's had his fill of dealing with no-name street criminals, he plans to go one step further and take out the criminal organizations, the Ames, the Hydras. The concept of the tear is also pretty damn huge. I wonder if we're gonna see this elsewhere in the Marvel Universe, or if this is just a concept Brian Michael Bendis is playing with. Then again, the person who brought it up is also a pretty unreliable narrator, so it might not even exist, who knows? Overall, another really solid issue. I would give this one an 8 out of 10. So there you go, everyone. There's Infamous Iron Man. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, want to check out some of these other videos. Then you can follow me on social media, at Cave Joel. And if you're feeling supportive, you might also want to become a patron. Patrons get exclusive videos and podcasts before anyone else. So until next time, everyone, this has been Cave Joel. Thank you so much for watching.